You don't want God, you know, one thing when mama and daddy get hope to you, but it's another thing when God get hope to you. And so with that tailwind, you can get where you're going in record time, but with that headwind, it can stop you, it can turn you around. And so many times Paul wanted to go here there, but the spirit forbade. And say, go over here and go over there, because there's a reason why I need you over here. There's a reason why I'm doing it. We, we can see up to the corner, but God can see up to the corner and around the corner, and he can see what's coming. And, and, and some things, if you go up there, you're going to get in trouble. Some things, if you go over there, you're going to get it and wish you didn't have it. And then Jesus went on to tell him, you know, uh, as the serpent and, and, and some of those that, 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 you know, that used to take of libations say you got to bite the hair of the dog that bit you. <laughs> and, and, and so Jesus, you know, they were in the wilderness and, 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 and uh, again had upset God. And he turned the serpents loose on them. But, but, and, and Moses had to get, get a bronze serpent and raise it up and you had to look on that thing. And so Jesus said as a serpent was lifted up in the wilderness... Uh, so must I be lifted up. And, 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 and that serpent represented judgment. That serpent represented sin had been dealt with and when you look on that thing. And so we're in trouble. We can't help ourselves, but we got to look to Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. And so then we get, uh, uh, whether John is talking or Jesus is talking, but he said, for God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. But, but like I say, he didn't stop right there. He said he that believeth on him is, is already uh, uh, saved. But he that believeth not is condemned already. Because he hath not believed on the only begotten son of God. But for a few more minutes as I stay right here, I want to uh, just look at this verse. And like I say, it, 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 there's a bunch of meat on it. You could, you could go forever and ever, but, but I, I won't do you like that if the Holy Spirit won't do you like that. But, 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 but in this thing it says, for God, a conjunction. Yes. And talks about God. You know God, don't you? The one who made the world, the one who uh, is, um, has all power and all knowledge and all understanding. He has panoramic eyesight. So he, he can see you when you... Uh, no one else can see you and, you, and you can fool some of the people some of the time, but you can't fool God none of the time. You know God who, who hung the stars in their silvery socket. You, you know God uh, who hung the clouds in the sky. You know God, uh, uh, somebody said, poems are wrote by silly fools like you and me, but only God can make a tree. Uh, uh, you know God, and, 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 and uh, he can take a burned out field that's covered over and, and bring back new life and green grass. You know God, don't you? Uh, uh, he's our heavenly father. He's our creator. He, he, he has all power and authority in heaven and earth in his hand. Before there was a wind or a word from everlasting to everlasting, he is and will always be God. Uh, uh, he bumps into himself because he goes everywhere at the same time. And uh, you, you know God, don't you? He, uh, I think you used to sing, God is. He, he take a black cow and, and let it eat green grass and give out white butter, white milk and yellow butter. Uh, and somebody say, God is not dead. He's still alive. You know God, don't you? When I look at the, the, the universe, I, I, and, and I know the earth, uh, the earth is a vesture that is worn, and one day it's going to come to an end, and there will be a new heaven and a new earth. But, but, but right now, I don't see no pistons rubbing and no barren, and, and, and don't have to get the maintenance man to go fix it. It's just keep on keeping on. And that, uh, uh, and that same God that's in charge of the universe, I'm talking about the greatest love story. He has love for you and I. For God so loved the world, he had compassion. In the Old Testament, he had faithfulness and compassion and loving kindness. And in, in, in the New Testament, he, he loves us unconditionally. Matter of fact, uh, uh, 1 Corinthians 13 tells us what love is and what love is not. And a whole lot of, and it ain't a queasy feeling and all that kind of stuff, but, 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 it's, but it's sacrificial and it's given because uh, how did he do it? He gave his son. He sent him down here and he sent him up on the cross. That to die for your sins and my sins. Because we were in trouble. We needed help. But God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, his one-of-a-kind son. He, God got many children, but he only had one Jesus. 
uh, who was sinless and who was able to say, uh, I can say the old preacher say, Father, prepare me a body and I'll go down and enter fully into their human condition. I'll, I'll be born like them. I'll cry like them. I'll get hungry like them. I'll, I'll, I'll suffer like them. Let me, let me go down because, and like I said, they can't save themselves and, and I'll go to the cross and appease your wrath because uh, it may not cost us anything, but that was a price that had been paid. Uh, for your sins and my sins and the price and the penalty and the bondage and all that have been dealt with because Jesus Christ went up on the cross to die for our sins. But thanks be to God, dying wasn't all. On the third day morning, he got up with all power and heaven and earth in his hand. Without the cross, there is no crown. Without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. Without the resurrection, there is no salvation. But, but he got up. And, and, and somebody said, death, hell, and the grave have been conquered. They're, they're just waiting on their end. Yeah. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And I'll talk about the son when I get to the end of this thing. That, uh, that, that whosoever, look at the extent of it. Look at the scope of it. It was so wide. He, he loved this world. This world, he, he, when he made it, he said it is good. But, and he told man to be in charge. But when man and Satan got through messing up, it, he repented the fact that he even made man. And we were in trouble. But, and, and so he loved the world. And Jesus died for all of us. But, but the rest of this verse and those verses around us say only those who accept him. Only those, you can have a million dollars in the bank and, and go around hungry and broke and starving and, and going for a wooden nickel over here and some play money if you want to. But, but God has made provision. For us to get back home and, if, and, and somebody say, if I die and go to hell, it ain't nobody's fault but my own because God has made provisions. God, God gave his son for your sins and my sins. For, for that whosoever believeth in him, you got to believe, you got to trust in him. You got to lean and depend on him and, and what you believe in, you act on. But, and, and so you got to, you know, we, we believe in each other and we lie to each other and we let each other down. But we're talking about putting your trust in God. And if you put your trust in God and, 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 and something on the inside ought to show itself on the outside. Uh, something, somebody say, working on the inside ought to show itself on the outside. But, but faith, belief, trust in God, not in self, not in man, not in the things of this world because they can't get you nowhere. But, but if you accept God's provision, uh, the man is sinful and comes short of the glory of God and sin creates a gulf between man and God. And the only one that can bridge that gulf is Christ Jesus. Uh, and matter of fact, Jesus told Nicodemus, you came see into the kingdom of heaven. If you ask Dives, he said, I could see over there, but I couldn't get over there. And, 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 a, and, a co and, and, and no one could parch my tongue. And so it let us know that there is life after death, and it's a conscious awakening. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to go to hell. I want to go to heaven. And, and, and so I'm trying to tell us this morning that God has made a way for us to get back home. But, but that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. And, and should not mean you can perish. Don't mean it's automatic. And perish means be destroyed. To, uh, and not only be destroyed, but to be eternally in hell, separated from God. But if you believe in him and trust him, you can have everlasting life. And, and perish means it's going to be a judgment. We've got to stand before the throne of God and give an account of our work. And, and if we found not in the book of life, we're going to be in the book of death. And, and eternal life means that we can live for God whatever, forever in heaven in a land not made by hand, eternal in the heaven where he is our God and we are his people. No more night there, no more sorrow, no more tomorrow. But every day is howdy, howdy, and the Sabbath shall have no end. There will be a tree there for the healing of the nation. God will wipe all tears from our eyes. The wicked will cease from troubling. Heaven is the place where God lives. I'm about to say the streets are paved with gold. We've got a mother there and a father there. And one of these days, I want to be with him and be done with the troubles of this world. Uh, we live in a mean, cruel world. Uh, sickness on every hand, men uh, uh, lying and, and, and trouble in the world. But we can go to a place that if we love God, that if we serve him and trust him, uh, we can be done with the troubles of the world. Uh, and, and so within this, the extent of God's love, the expression, the effect, the economy, the efficiency, uh, God was all over this thing. God was on it. Uh, but, but if we don't accept it, it won't do us any bit of good. Uh, uh, we will die with those that perish. 
and, 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 and be uh, eternally doomed and damned in a devil's burning hell. Well, like I say, Dives was, was, was there, and, and he had a conscience awakening. He could see, but he couldn't go. And there was a gulf, and, and then he wanted to come back and tell his brothers to get it right. And the Lord said, if they don't hear the living, they ain't going to hear the dead. And, and, and so the, 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 they, their fate is in their hands if they don't trust the Lord. And, and so as I hurry on to a close, uh, this thing says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. You know the son, don't you? His name is Jesus. You know the son, don't you? He's Mary's baby. You know the son, don't you? He's the bright and morning star. You know the son, don't you? He says, I am, I am that I, he's the great I am. He said, I am that I am. I'm the bread of life. I'm the water of life. I'm the resurrection and the life. You know the son, don't you? Have you met him? Have you tried him? Ain't the Lord all right? Won't the Lord make a way? You know the son, don't you? He walked the dusty streets of Palestine for 30 and three long years. The last three years, giving sight to the blind, make the lame to walk and the dumb to talk. You know Jesus, don't you? Turn the water into wine. You know Jesus, don't you? He'll make a way out of nowhere. You know Jesus, don't you? He's a burden bearer. You know Jesus, don't you? He's a heavy load sharer. You know Jesus, don't you? He's a bright and morning star. You know Jesus, don't you? He's a rock cut out of the mountain, tearing down the kingdoms of this world. If you're sick and can't get well, he's a rock hewed out of the mountain. Yes, he's a burden bearer, a heavy load sharer. You know Jesus, don't you? He's a friend of mine. He's my elder brother. He's a midnight rider and a four-day traveler. Doctor in the sick room, lawyer in the courtroom, way out of no way. He's undefeated. You know Jesus, don't you? He has all power in heaven and earth in his hand. He's a heart fixer, mind regulator, great consolator. He's a company keeper. You know Jesus, don't you? Jesus, 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 can't you see him? The weight of the world on his shoulder, the cross on his back. He marched, didn't he march? From Pilate's judgment hall to Calvary, the weight, the load got so heavy, Simon had to give him a hand, but when he got to Calvary, he tread the wine press alone. He died, didn't he die? Died all night Friday night, all night Saturday night, but early Sunday morning, he got up with all power, heaven and earth in his hand, Holy Ghost power, heart fixing power, weeping may endure for a night, but joy. Joy, joy, joy. Come in the morning. It was a dark Friday, but a bright Sunday morning. He got up. He got up with all power. And what I like about him when I was lost in sin, sinking to rise no more. Love, love, love lifted me when nothing else could help. Love, 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 love. I was far from the peaceful storm, very deeply stained within, sinking to rise no more. But love, 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 love lifted me. Do you know him? Have you tried him? Ain't he all right? Won't he make a way? Let me hear you say, yeah, 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 oh, yeah. I know he's all right. All right, all right. All right, all right. 
I tried him for myself and I know he's all right. Pick me up, turn me around, snatch me as a brand from the fire, place my feet on a solid rock, and I'm glad about it. Glad, so glad. Are oh, you glad? Let me hear you say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's all right. He's a friend of mine. The greatest love story ever told. I don't know about you, but I'm a part of that story. I think I tell you every time I go north on 288 and cross airport, I say, thank you, Jesus. And when I come on around Sunnyside and South Park and hit Martin Luther King in 16, I say, thank you, Jesus. It could have been me. It should have been me. Glory, hallelujah. Oh, bless his name. Good God right now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, thank you, Jesus. I'm no better than the one that didn't make it out. Some dead, some in jail. But you made old death behave. And God, I'm glad about it. And I come to say thank you. Much obliged for your manifold blessings. What a mighty God we serve. The door to my father's kingdom is open. experience. Don't be caught out of, outside of the ark of safety. But God loves you. 